kila kila mmoja wetu anapenda ndovu anaposikia anaposikia ndovu anatamani kwenda kuiona e, ndovu ninaweza ni, kusema kwamba ndovu um, is the main challenge here kwa sababu wanafunzi walimu wazazi kila mtu is affected mwalimu leo kuna ndovu hawa watoto wangu hakupitiki leo kabisa kwa barabara wako wengi sana ndovu kama kuna wakati mwingine walikuja hapa katika plote shule ukawa kwa sababu ile ile fear ule uoga watoto wanaogopa kutoka nje kucheza kama vile sehemu na wanaocheza wanjani alafu kuja huku shule maana walikuwa katika nani ya shule watoto wanaogopa kuja Ya, yeah, changamoto ziko nyingi upande wa arrival of learners eh? kufika kwa watoto ni changamoto kwa sababu tunataka kuanza mapema because timetable inasema tuanze ile yetu ya preps ya asubuhi ile morning preps ni saa moja so at least before saa moja hapo 6:45 mtoto wao amefika lakini sasa hawezi kufika kwa sababu anaogopa kwa nyama ndogo so awe jioni pia hatuwezi wa release late sana kama saa kumna moja, saa kumna moja na nusu kumna mbili hivi because of that okay hapa uh, ratiba ya shule hii huwa inaanza saa moja, masomo yashaanza kumaanisha kwamba wale wanafunzi wakutwa wale wakuja kila asubuhi lazima wafike hapa kabla ya saa moja. ndio mwalimu akiingia darasa la moja masomo yanaanza lakini utakuta mtoto ambaye ametoka nje nyumbani kwao amezuiliwa na ndovu njiani kwa hivyo yeye hata aweza kufika ile saa moja atakuwa hajafika mpaka hata saa moja unusu mpaka hata saa nyingine saa mbili kwa sababu amekuja akakutana na ndovu ndovu amefunga njia hawezi kuja shuleni so unakuta mtoto masomo yale ya asubuhi karibu two lessons ama three lessons mmempita so huyo mtoto kwa ujumla katika ile hali ya ku kusema kwamba wametosha kufanya mtihani wenzao wametosha zaidi kuliko yeye kwa sababu yeye kuna kuna masomo ambayo alimpita Uh, na kwa upande mwingine kuhusu wazazi. Hao wazazi wanategemea mashamba. Hapa hakuna kampuni za kuajiri watu, hakuna njia nyingine yoyote ile ya kupata ya kupata ya kupata pesa. Ni hiyo tu ya kwamba watumie kilimo, walime kile chochote watakachopata, wauze ndio wapate pesa za kuletea watoto wao shule. So utakuta ndovu wanapoingia katika yale mashamba, wanaharibu chakula chochote kile hao wazazi walikuwa wamepanda. Hiyo inatuadhiri kwa sababu huyu mtoto atafukuzwa kwa sababu ya kutolipa karo ama atatumwa nyumbani. Na utakuta wakati anapoenda nyumbani kwa sababu huwa tuko na lunch program, tunajua masomo ni ni inaitwa free day second education. So wale actually hawalipi karo, kitu analipia ni ile lunch. But now unaona huyu mtoto anashindwa kuja shule kwa sababu anahaizi kuja shule na akashinda njaa. ndovu na wakae mbali na wanadamu. Watolewe hizi sehemu wakae zile zile sehemu zao. Kwa sababu hata ndovu wanaweza kupatikana ukipatikana sehemu za ndovu una unakuwa una trespass. Ndovu bwana wao apewe trespass ya kuingia hapa na wako katikati ya watu sasa hivi tunaelekea na kupanda wanasumbua watu. Hata kuchunga sasa hivi chunga pori. Na wapo kuna hatari. E, kwa upande kulingana na ule ufahamu niko nao ndovu kwa Kenya wana faida kwa upande mwingine. Lakini kwa hata tukiwa sisi hapa hatuoni faida kwa sababu tule tumea tulikuwa tumepanda baadhi miembe, migomba yote imeisha hata licha ya kiangazi. Lakini ndovu wamechangia pakubwa sana. Hata hizi miti wanyama wetu wanatamianga hizi miti. Ndovu kazi yake ni kama kuharibu miti. Akolanga kama ati ana spear, si kama ng'ombe. 
anakula na haribu mali amekanyaga ni jangu eh yeah. those who coined the word the elephant in the house when they coined that word they must have looked at how the elephant affects our education in Taitata County because actually when we have the elephant in our house the elephant in our schools or the elephant in our education system then there are a lot of crises that it causes um i want to look at it in in in, in some perspective that um will be related to the quality education that we expect in the school um part of it has been mentioned by my director that is absenteeism mm -hmm. uh, she has really clarified on issues of absenteeism and how absenteeism affect the quality of education in the long run mm -hmm. um there are some other areas mm -hmm. that also affect education quality of education with the presence of elephant for example um when the elephant visits there is trauma that it causes to the pupils to the students to the teachers that trauma uh disrupts the psychological uh perspective of the learner and also of the teacher and at that particular time if the psychosocial support is not given to this pupil or to the teacher then the quality of education is going to be affected because the concentration in matters of education at that particular time is interfered with they'll be looking at how to run away from the elephant sometimes the damages the elephant has caused so the focus is on those other issues other than matters of education so attention is is taken elsewhere and that in the long run causes uh, negatively impacts on the quality of education etero wayo umetu ulitoka kwa mtonga wayo umeme ukapita chunga unga kuelekea kufikia lia ukaanza mzozo sasa kati ya ya wayo waliokuwa naweka wao wayo umeme na wananchi wa pale wa sehemu ya lia wananchi wa lia wanasema mali wao inapitia ingi stengi piti hapo so mzozo huu ni mvuma sana mvuma sana sana na mpaka sasa hii basi ile mradi kasumbishwa so pale mradi usimamishiwa hapo kwa sasa imekuwa ni kama gate ya ndo kwa kwa sababu niseme kwamba hii maeneo ya Kamtonga Kamtonga sasa hivi dogo shida ya ndo inaenda chini kwa sababu so you see the time why umeshapita zile watu ndio zikuwa zinatoka kwa ranches ranch ya kutu kutima na choko kuingia Kamtonga sasa zizi kia so ndo zile ambazo ndio wake zinasumbua hapo zile zinatokea wale na sawa hapa
ndovu kila kila mmoja wetu anapenda ndovu anaposikia anaposikia ndovu anatamani kwenda kuiona kwa sababu ndovu kama muda mrefu watu wengi kama muda mrefu bila kuona ndovu kwa hivyo anatamani kumwona huyu ndovu apia sisi apia ndovu zina faida nyingi kwa sote ndio ndovu anapatia Kenya pesa na hizi pesa sisi ndio tunazitumia na tusaidia sisi wakati ninapotoka nyumbani kuelekea shuleni mimi kama mwanafunzi wa kidato cha 4 huwa ninarauka alfajiri ili niweze kufika mapema niweze kuchambua madaftari yangu ili niweze kujitahidi vyema katika kufanya mtihani wangu wa mwisho wa kidato cha 4 ila ninapofika njiani mara nyingi ukutana na, na ndovu kwa sababu huwa ni usiku jambo hili huwa linatatiza kwa sababu huwezi kufuza ndovu wakati huwezi jua wako kwa, kwa kiasi gani katika pori hii sasa huwa tutatizika inabidi wakati mwingine tunarudi nyumbani tuna kakadi kingara jua likichomoza ndio tunatoka tena tunaoja shuleni sasa tunafika kuchelewa wakati mwingine ukuta masomo ya yenye huanza saa moja kamili yanatupita sasa ni changamoto katika masomo yetu E, ndovu ninaweza ni, kusema kwamba ndovu um, is the main challenge here kwa sababu wanafunzi walimu wazazi kila mtu is affected e, lakini nikikuja shuleni unakuta um, oh, kuna wakati hapa asubuhi sana watoto hawezi kuingia maana tangu nikuje nimekuta hiyo challenge imekuwa sana maana ndovu wametoka kule porini pale wanakaa wanakuja wakitafuta chakula sasa wanatangamana na na, na, na wananchi hapa na wanakuwa ni threat so watoto wengine wanakuja shule asubuhi inabidi warudi maana wanakuta ndovu barabarani inabidi mpaka wazazi wa walete na sometimes they come quite late eh? na mm, e, pia jioni na wengine huwa hawaji kabisa maana e, wakati ndovu wamekuwa wengi kabisa inabidi wengine wakae nyumbani especially wale wadogo wadogo bana kusema kweli ni threat kubwa kwa, 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 kwa binadamu. Alafu jioni e, mara nyingi unakuta mpaka watoto tu release mapema zaidi. E, kando na kwamba sometimes you need a little more time e, to cover the syllabuses. Lakini unakuta e, kwa sababu wanyama wako kila mahali mpaka watoto waachiliwe mapema wakati mwingine saa tisa inabidi tuachilie watoto ili waweze kufika nyumbani mapema kabla wale wanyama hawajatapaka hapa mtaani hapa karibu kuna kwaga na na some kind of basin kidimbu hapa cha kilichimbo wananchi wasaidike na maji lakini wanyama wakija wanakujaga wakati mwingine mpaka mchana saa tisa wako pale wanakunywa maji so kwa sababu ya hiyo unakuta mara nyingi they are within the school compound wakati mwingine hata they are around here so in such a case E, shule unaona kwamba ukianza kukompea na shule zingine watoto lazima wakuje kuchelewa wa, wa, waende nyumbani mapema so we have limited time na, na, na wanafunzi those are day unaangalia unakuta watoto wako karibu nusu wale wengine hawajafika alafu kitu kingine pia ndovu kando na wanafunzi nyumbani wakati wanakuja namna hii unakuta hata mashambani nyumbani kama hakuna kitu kinaweza kuwa shambani maana wanakuja wakitafuta chakula so whatever was in the shamba kama ni mihogo kama ni, 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 ni chakula chote kile mahindi kila kitu papai wanaharibu yote wanakula so nyumbani kuna shida hakuna chakula hapa shuleni pia wanakuwa ni threat so unakuta watoto wako nja na kuja shuleni pia inakuwa ni shida thank you um i, I think the long lasting solution that uh, we propose and which we um guide in terms of our schools is that uh, 
every school must have efforts. Um, our biggest challenge is resources because of fencing. Our schools are also, quite a number of our schools are also expensive. And so in terms of fencing, the whole compound, some have 20 acres, 30 acres, and so fencing, ring fencing the school yeah. so that it's safe and it's secure. And not just uh, the temporary fencing. Um, we require them, you know, uh, uh, a fencing which has an electric uh, fencing around it so that it deters the animals from uh, coming in, but also that is on our side that we have encouraged our schools to fence off and secure our schools. But uh, we also encourage um, wildlife um, sector to also fence off. Mm -hmm. If they were to fence off the conservancy areas and the game parks and so that now with electric fence, mm -hmm. then the animal would have zero. It would not even require to fence our schools. Mm -hmm. If the wildlife team would fence off theirs mm -hmm. and secure the animals within the parks. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the purposes of also uh, securing our institutions and the lands they own, we've also encouraged them to fence off. Mm -hmm. Most of the secondary schools have been able to face off. So, but the primary schools, most of them uh, are open grounds, mm -hmm. and so the conflict, they are more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And so the conflict is more in primary schools. And again, also, because our primary schools are also more mm -hmm. than the secondary schools. We have 215 primary schools across the county. We have 87 in secondary schools. So again, because without saying the, the, the primary schools are more vulnerable uh, to, for, to, uh, to being visited by the parents than the secondary schools. And again, like I've said, the secondary schools, most of them are the primary schools, are, so they are the ones that are more sus susceptible to um, the wildlife. Mm -hmm.